Hello, I'm Dave. Have you been keeping up with your ancient Greek? Arati. That was ancient Greek for excellent. Did you know this? Kratos from God of War isn't just a juggalo rageaholic. He is actually a real character in Greek mythology. The son of the Titan Palace and the goddess Styx, who was the goddess of 80s experimental hair metal. Kratos was a walking, talking symbol of strength and might. In fact, Kratos is the ancient Greek word for power. You could mistake his grandiose personality for only child syndrome, but he actually had three siblings, Zelus, Baia, and Nike. Yes, Nike, the goddess of victory and sweatshops. These kids were Zeus's winged enforcers, essentially anti-gravity bouncers. In Prometheus Bound, an ancient Greek tragedy, Kratos helps his sister Baia, the goddess of force, chain the titan Prometheus to a mountain in an effort to prevent him from ever becoming a prequel to Alien. Greek tragedies, just so you know, often end with incredibly miserable people gouging out their own eyes, again, in an effort to prevent them from ever seeing a prequel to Alien. In the video games, however, Kratos is a crazy, crazy mixed up Spartan, tormented by the memory of killing his own family. For how could he forget his skin white with the ash of his dead family? The ghost of Sparta had been born. He's subsequently revealed to be a demigod. That's half god, half ex-wife of Bruce Willis and or Ashton Kutcher and the son of Zeus. But after being toyed with by Zeus one too many times, he faces off with the big king god and kills him. So not only does Kratos kill his human family, he kills a supernatural one too, which would make an incredible reunion episode of Jerry Springer. You cannot do this, Kratos! Stand against me, Athena! Come to think of it, he pretty much kills everyone he meets. Now, I'm not into victim blaming, but they do turn into power orbs, which pretty much encourages the killing. Uh. 